Now, if you're going to be conformed to the image of Christ, that means that then what that doesn't mean. Okay, well, let me, I'll tell you both. <clears throat> First off, that means you're going to look just like him in the spirit. When you got born again, you were recreated in his likeness and his image in the spirit. And in the spirit, you look just like him. Now, that means of the same essence. It does not mean that if you stepped out of your body, that you're going to look like Jesus looked. And we couldn't tell you the part from Jesus and you. You're still going to look like you. You're still going to have the features of you, but of his essence and who he is, you're going to be of that same essence and who he is, but you're going to still have your appearance. Does that make sense? Now, <clears throat> what that means also is that we are to be just like him in our soul. That means why? Because we have the mind of Christ. So we should think his thoughts, speak his words, and when you think his thoughts and speak his words, now you are operating in the mind of Christ, and you'll say what he said, You'll think like he thought, and therefore you will talk like he talked, and you will act like he acted. It's that simple. Now, in the body, see, for some reason, we can go along with all that with the spirit and soul. When you get to the body, we think, oh, the body's different. No, his, your body is important to Jesus. <clears throat> That's why he bore those stripes. See, he went to the cross for your spirit. He went to the whipping post for your body. That's why he said, present your bodies a living sacrifice. Isn't that right? Blameless, holy. Isn't that right? Now think about that. Your body is supposed to be blameless, just like your soul is supposed to be blameless, just like your spirit is supposed to be blameless. But for some reason, we think that God stops. Part of that is because early on in the, not in the Christian church, but early on when Christianity was uh, becoming more established, there were groups that raised up <clears throat> that separated themselves and said, oh, the, the, the body doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's trash, it's no good, because they talk about referring to what the Bible says about the flesh. The flesh isn't about the body. The flesh is about your carnal soul. So he would talk about this, and they would separate themselves, and they would do things to themselves to discipline their body. And that's where a lot of things even came out of the Roman Catholic Church, where they would whip themselves. It didn't start with the Roman Catholics. It started with other groups that were non-Christian, <clears throat> and they started beating themselves to punish themselves, and then they would say they're entering into the sufferings of Christ. No, he finished his work, and you can't pick it up and try to carry it on. The sufferings of Christ that you will suffer is persecution by doing and living godly in Christ. Amen? So, <clears throat> but your body is important to him. He expects your body to be blameless, and he expects us to be blameless, spirit, soul, and body, to be kept blameless until the coming of the Lord. So our bodies are supposed to be blameless before, meaning having no fault in it, all right? which would preclude sickness or disease being in it. If you're going to be like Jesus, spirit, soul, and body, it does not mean that your body is going to metamorphose somehow to look like a 30, roughly 33-year-old man, <clears throat> a Jewish man, walking around Jerusalem. Right? That's not what's going to happen. You're going to look like him. You're going to be of his essence in your body, meaning let's look at how Jesus was in his body. Was he sick? No. Then you shouldn't be either. Why? Because as he is, so are we. Even if he had gotten sick, which is impossible because of his faith and because of his trust in God, <clears throat> even if he could have gotten sick, even if he had have gotten sick, the Bible doesn't say that as he was, so are we. It says as he is. Today, can Jesus get sick? Then neither should you. Do you understand that? That should, but before you can walk in that, you have to first believe it, see it, and agree and say, that's truth. And many times there will be a path of getting there. 